If you're looking to get some Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFA UT Coins, the link is in the description below. Right, yo guys, what's going on? Toby here, Toby Jones, and welcome to my first FIFA 14 Ultimate Team review. Today we're going to be looking at the PSG and Brazil centre-back Thiago Silva. And um, on your screens, in a second, you're going to see the side I used him in, playing alongside the centre-back Mykon and Maxwell. And I think these two players had a particularly important role in the way in which he performed. I used him in about eight games. Um, gold Cup matches and single matches. But yeah, I'm going to explain later how I think these two guys really affected his style of game in the matches which he did play for me. Now, taking a look at his in-game stats, we can see here he's 28 years of age, so probably at the peak of his defensive career. Six foot in height, which is not the tallest for a centre-back, but still pretty tall and enough to do the job. And um, he has medium-high work rates, which are not completely ideal. What you ideally want for a centre-back is um, low-high work rates, so you can be caught out of position sometimes with him if you're not careful but he does have the three star weak foot so if he is caught in tricky situations he's able to um, get out of it a lot easier than a defender with a I guess weaker weak foot now moving on to his physical attributes we can see that he has 80 acceleration 84 reactions 82 sprint speed and 80 strength not really focusing too much on stamina because that just means he can perform better for longer during the game but um the attributes I mentioned before before that the um acceleration agility reaction and sprint speed um, all allow him to have really good recovery so remember when i mentioned that um he can be caught out of position due to the work rates um he's able to recover a lot quicker and so you don't notice um him getting out of position um as much as you would if he didn't have these attributes now um the other important attribute on this page is um his jumping which is 92 and this guy is absolutely phenomenal at winning headers. You'll see him winning header after header after header. And this goes hand in hand with, I think, his heading stat, which is like 83 accuracy or something. So if you do get him in a set-piece situation, he's always very dangerous. However, because he was playing alongside Mike on the centre-back, I didn't tend to get that many header chances. Mike on tended to get the attacking header chances. And Thiago Silva dealt with the defensive ones. He tended to sit back a little bit more than Mike on um, from set-pieces. And um, as a result of that, didn't really get any attacking heading chances. Now the only real thing to take note of in his mental attributes is his interceptions which is 94 and um, I think that's his joint highest attribute alongside marking but um, yeah this guy was fantastic with interceptions. Um, even when he was caught out of position like I said his agility and reactions allowed him to get back into position in those situations and make some fantastic interceptions and interventions in um, certain um, dangerous situations. And I guess the other thing to take note of um, on this page is his vision, which is 74, which is not the highest, but for a centre back it's pretty decent. And um, you'll see later on when I move on to the skill attributes how this goes hand in hand with another attribute and makes him a very good defender. Now on this page the standout attributes are ball control, heading accuracy, long passing and marking. And you can see that the ball control is 82, which is extremely high for a centre-back. Very composed on the ball. And in dangerous situations, he's able to keep a cool head, move the ball between either foot. Because remember, he has he does have that three-star weak foot. So he's able to move the ball between either foot and deal with the situation very comfortably. Um, especially with Maxwell alongside him, always there as an outlet. That chemistry he has with him, always there as a good outlet to deal with the situations. Now, moving on to his heading accuracy, I did mention earlier briefly that he is a threat from attacking chances. But it depends who you're playing him alongside, whether he'll be more dominant or less dominant in the penalty area. And his long pass is 81 which is brilliant for a defender um, going hand in hand with the vision stat which I mentioned earlier he's able to deal with the ball um, from dangerous situations if he's not shifting the ball between his feet he'll pick out a very good pass and usually instead of getting a clearance like you would get from most defenders you get this fantastic pass which leads to a very good attacking opportunity and on occasion in this video I do manage to score goals on the break due to his decision making from these situations Taking a look at his marking stat, that is 94, and with regards to him being out of position, this stat is pretty damn high because he's able to keep up with the defenders. Remember, he's got that high agility, high reactions, and high sprint speed and acceleration, so he's able to keep up with the defenders very easily and deal with situations, and you'll see in this video, he would have made tackle after tackle or broken down several opposition moves due to him marking the defender, watching the runs, and getting the right side of the defender um, with regard to the situation and being able to deal with the opportunities from there. 
And last but definitely not least in this um, review, you can see his slide tackling and his standing tackling extremely high attributes. And like I said, you would have seen tackle after tackle after tackle, consistently making challenges, very rarely missed a challenge. And if he did, he's able to recover really quickly and get back and make another block or another defensive effort to put the opposition off their move. One last thing to add to this video is a shot power, which was like 82. And you would see just here on your screens, as the move breaks down from a corner, that composure once more to take the ball past the defender before rifling the shot past the goalkeeper, meaning that when he does sit back from corners or set pieces, he can be a little bit of a threat from the edge of the box. So a brilliant all-round player to have, a brilliant all-round defender to have in your side. Um, can be very good attackingly, but is extremely solid defensively, and I definitely recommend you getting him. I think he goes for about 50 grand on the Xbox, 50,000 coins. I'm not entirely sure because I did pick him up in a pack opening not too long ago, but I hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you want to see more reviews from me, feel free to leave a like let me know what you didn't like about this review let me know what i can improve on in the comments below and yeah i'll talk to you guys in a bizzle peace